Hello, heroes. It's Dr. Zeno with 15 Minute Fuel. We're just in 15 minutes a day. We're going to fuel your mind, your body, and your future. Well, thank you so much for all the response yesterday. You guys uh, welcome me, me back. Uh, you know, it, it's not intention that, you know, we took a couple days off. It just, you know, part of the, the journey is, you know, you can just change your mind if you want to. So uh, I appreciate you guys. Thanks for uh, uh, loving the fuels again. But we're bringing them back strong and hard. Uh, and just, we, you know, what Whitney and I, we've been having to make a lot of decisions lately. And sometimes uh, when you have to make a decision, well, what happens is when you have the anxiety in your life, a little bit of anxiety, I don't have anxiety, but like, Anytime you have that little anxiety or anytime you have to make a decision, things are a little stressful, right? And then as soon as you make the decision, you know, you got you got the plan. And then you could course correct. If you want to change your mind, you could change your mind. So we had some really, really, really big uh, life uh, decisions that we were talking about. And sometimes, you know, you, you uh, kind of shut out the outside a little bit and you get to the people that, such as Whitney, that, uh, you know, it's... You know, we, we just go in and we just make, make, make a couple decisions that need to be done. So uh, you guys will enjoy them. And uh, big stuff ahead. And you should be doing the same thing. You guys just should get away sometimes, get away from everything. And uh, so you can be able to do that and think clearly. Well, once again, you know, uh, make sure you subscribe to YouTube channels and the Facebook page because then you can see the fuels and all the other things I'm posting Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Make sure on our Instagram account, join and follow me on the Instagram account so you get all the other things that we're doing there. And, uh, of course, Stitcher, SoundCloud, and iTunes, we have the podcast versions. Pretty soon I'll be working on an actual, uh, actual going strong on a podcast where instead of these being transformed into a podcast, um, I'll actually be going full bore on a podcast. I'll let you know. I don't know what that looks like, but it will be done. I mean, and I'll conquer that just like anything else. So let's talk today about today's talk is about self-awareness and humility. Uh, when we go through that hero's mindset, you know, embracing the hero mindset, the hero needs pride. The hero has ego. And the hero also has humility. And the humility comes from massive self-awareness. I thought about it the other day. You know, women, have you ever uh, been in a car with a guy who, who drove around circles and just did not want to ask for directions? All right? So that's poor self. Well, actually, that's self-awareness, but that's co combined with stubbornness. So see... Self-awareness means that you're aware of the things that you could be prideful and have a good, strong confidence and esteem about. Self-awareness also means you see the things that you do need help on, that uh, you might not be as, uh, you might not like as much, you might not be as skilled and trained on as much, or, or there's areas that you don't want to be skilled and trained on as much. You follow what I'm saying? So at least where you could be honest, self-awareness is basically not fooling yourself, being honest with yourself. The thing is, in life, one of the big problems is this is the whole part of the hero thing. And I'm reading a Bruce Lee book, so if you hear Bruce Lee quotes, it's, it's, uh, I'm paraphrasing them so I could use them, so they're not Bruce Lee. But it was the, the paraphrasing is one of the biggest problems in our lives is that, or, or to be, be the hero, is that we fail to be our true ultimate selves. Like, we fail to be ourselves, truly, you know, because, and then because, because society doesn't allow us to be our true selves. Right? So just think like just to be your full expression of yourself, we always hold back a little bit because we, we're we not even, you know, we, we live that secret identity for so long, we don't even know what our true selves express look like. But also at the same time, society is not allowing you to express your full self uh, the way it should be. So self-awareness is tremendous because this is when you could sit down, honestly loving yourself in a non-judgmental way and say, hey, here are my strengths. I don't want to use weaknesses, but here are my strengths, here are the things that I'm not as skilled at, and then also remember, be self-aware that we don't know what we don't know, right? Think about that. We don't know what we don't know. So sometimes we could be going around and there's something we don't know about that could really be causing us harm or getting in the way of reaching our goal, going full hero mode and whatever that is. So the solution to that is an exercise where you just write down, again, we talked about the fears and the fog. So the fears and the fogs, they, uh, they give you insight to things that you don't want to be skilled at. You're, you're afraid of skills you might not know well enough yet, right? And so at least when you write those, do you aware of that? So in the journey I've been through, I could only tell you through my journey, you know, so tech stuff, website stuff certain video stuff, copywriting stuff, 
um, click funnel stuff. I'm talking probably talking language some people don't understand. Facebook ad stuff. There's a whole world that you have three options. So you, I write down all the areas. Well, basically it's this. In the hero's journey, there's that circle, right? So, this, so just think there's a circle cut in half. The top half is your secret identity. That's the mediocre conformity of society. But then in that, in that secret, there's, we always have a call. So the call is we have the calling. So that's the true hero. You know, so we have the call, then we try to get through, and then we're, we're met by opposition to stay comfortable. That's the crisis. And then as we, we break through, we start to become aware of the areas, uh, you know, because it's such a personal, you have a personal message or personal love for something. But then also you're met with the insecurities uh, that we have about ourselves in certain things, and that's the fears and the fogs. So when you have your fears and the fogs, that's in the middle. So there's a point of the hero's journey that even though you have helpers, there's a point where you have to embrace the I am, right? So there's a point in the hero's journey where there's a death. There's a death and a rebirth, right? There's the death of the secret identity, the rebirth of the hero, and it, and, and it comes, and, and it's basically like you could get help along the way, but that's when like you have to go on your own into the cave, so to speak, and fight the lion on your own. And a lot of times what prevents, but once you get through that, then the other half of that circle is when now you, you're, you're, there's a rebirth, you're doing your calling, you have clarity, and you're building whatever that is in your life, your, your new hero, to bring back to the old land that you came from, or that's the atonement. You're bringing, you're bringing something back from your journey, from your experience, from your message, to bring back and help others. But it's very crucial that those fears and fogs keep you from moving forward. Because what, what do we always talk about? Our mind only knows what? What it could lose. So our mind, like here's the fears and the fogs, the things that we get scared about. I don't know tech, I don't know this. Whatever, whatever excuse, whatever fear, whatever fogginess that's keeping you from making the leap, right? Everybody's asking me, how do I know when to make the jump? How do I know when to make the leap? Well, first of all, you're not jumping over a, ca a, a canyon, right? So if I jumped over the Grand Canyon, yeah, I could die, I get it. But understand, first of all, you're not gonna die. Because like there's nothing, you're not jumping over anything, but you're, what you're really meaning is, how do I know that I'm just going to go for it, right? And so what happens is the fears and the fogs, they're all the things. That's the thing that's going to keep you in the way. And your brain only knows what it could lose. So the life, the comfortable life or whatever, even if it's a crappy life, right? Your brain, even if it's a, cr a crummy relationship, your brain only knows, I could, I could lose this. It might get worse, so your brain only knows what it'll lose. It doesn't know all the ascetic gain. So you have to understand on the hero's journey, the circle, after the, after the death and the rebirth, which is the hero, the whole other half here is, is uh, when King Arthur pulls the sword out of the rock. This is like the journey. This is the blessing. This is, you know, the, 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 the ten talents. It's like all the cool shits over here, right? All the stuff that we dream of, all the stuff that we would love to do. In the movies, all the things we get excited about, it's all over here. So the thing is, because of those fears and fogs and our brain only knows what we could lose, it holds us back from the stuff and everything. The dream of living your purpose, the dream of loving what you do, the dream of making a huge impact, the dream of pulling the sword out of the rock, you know, the, the dream of having confidence and, and, and living a life of no regrets. So all the cool treasure, the real treasure of, of who you are is over here. But you got the fears and the fogs here. So what the fears and the fogs do, you list them out and you say, these are the things that are in my way. And remember now we look at them and then you have three options. It's self-awareness, because now you know, okay, out of these things, I could do something about this, this, and that. Um, you could, A, you could go on Google and learn how to do certain those things to develop the skills. That takes a lot of time. Two, you could invest in digital programs and products and resources and seminars to learn those things, maybe with a partner who's skilled in other areas. So maybe, remember, your, 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 heroes, your, your, your hero mode could be done with a group of people, a team. It's just not you, because your message is big for the world. So you could have a, it's about having an entire team. You're not gonna be the lone superhero. You really need a superhero squad. You're not gonna do it by yourself to get to the level you would like to or what you deserve. So find other superheroes in those areas, you know, and you could do it together if you have friends or family that would do it with you. And the third thing is then you hire the heroes in that level or in those areas you actually hire the team and then the team, boom. You know, they, they say, listen, we got it for you. We'll build it for you. We're on board. And then as a group and a team, 
Uh, they're able to build things out, do the things, they actually conquer your fears and fogs for you in those areas. And even though it might cost a lot of money up front, or it looks like it does, because your brain's worried about what's losing, you're gonna make so much more and you're gonna save so much more in the long run. The worst thing to do is take the chintzy way out on things and you, everybody's done this. You took the cheap way out and it wind up costing you double, triple, or, or way more than that in the long run, right? We, we've all been there. So, so that's the three things. Google it, learn it. That's if you have time. That's what I, I would tell every 18 to 25 year old to do. If a 25 year old works 10 years figuring it out, they're 35, they're still young. Uh, a little bit older, you know, let's say between 35 and 40, you could get digital co courses and get help from people that you would like to do this with, that that's share your message as well. And then uh, if, uh, if, if opportunity provides itself, borrow or use what you've accumulated and earned over time to invest back into yourself by building your team. So Whitney and I, we hired a booking assistant, right? So the booking assistant, you know, will now call the, number one, look what they do, they research, all these people to call. So you got to go online, you got to research, research them, get their name, get their number, get their contact person. Who's the person they contact? What event are they having? All this stuff, right? And then they call them, they have a sequence of things, mailers, flyers, gifts, you know, whatever. They do all that. Like that, I, I just don't have time. I mean, I, I couldn't do it all. So this is where you start hiring help to build it because you want the end goal. And uh, so these are the things you start to do. So that's why becoming self-aware creates the humility because watch what happens. So you could be proud, you know, have the pride and have the ego in your message and, and who you are. And then you could be self-aware of the fears and fogs and the fears and fogs. Um, don't judge them. Be proud of them. Be like, Hey, listen, these are, this is, I'm self-aware that these are the areas. These are the areas that are holding me back. And, and, but I look at it this way. These are the only things that are holding me back. I get excited. I'm like, when I write it down, I'm like, you mean these six things are the only thing holding me back from the promised land, from pulling the sword out of the stone, from, uh, you know, seeing the gold at the end of the ring, you know, all the metaphors of, of the journey that we would love to get. So like, so when you're right, you're like, these are the only things. And yes, they might be big things, but I'm like, out of these seven things, I could hire these four people or these three people and all those things go away. Not only do they go away, but A, they're done better than I could ever do them. And two, those people, they know things that I don't know. So they also uh, discover blind spots that would have really hurt at the end. So this is how, at the end of the day, we talked about time, work, and money, right? Everything we go for, it's gonna take time, work, and money for yourself on either ends, right? So you, they're, they're, those are the three things you're not gonna be able to get past it. But if you're really serious, about being a hero where you're at, exactly where you're planted, and being the best authentic version of yourself where you are right now. Or if you're at the point where you're like, listen, I've been here and I'm just feeling that call to go bigger, better, write the book, do whatever that thing is, then let those fear, figure out those fears and fogs, the things that are in your way, and then you start hiring and grouping and coming up with those people to get you for it. And it's all gonna go back, you say, well, you can all use the money excuse, but the thing is, I've seen people, uh, I've seen them get diagnosed with cancer and all of a sudden those people have the money now, you know, and, but, you know, and they realize, you know, Starbucks for 10 years and the thousands of dollars they had for that, like, like you become resourceful. And so the thing is, I don't want you to have to have a cancer in your life, a heart disease, a life. I don't want you to have a, a loved one uh, on the brink of death. I don't want you to have to go through an act of some type of terrorism in your life for you to become resourceful. You know, wouldn't it be really awesome to become resourceful now for your for your dream, you know, for what you call to do. You only live the one, you have, only have the one life to do. And wouldn't it be worth it that those fears and fogs, those little things right there, that's the only thing in the way that's getting you to where you wanna be. So this is why I become self-aware. Self-awareness is what creates the humility. And this is why it's part of the, the triangle, pride, ego, self-awareness, humility. Those, that self-awareness is what gives you the humility and that also gives us the courage. In the weakness is where the courage comes from because part of the definition of hero is courage, right? So the scariness, the not having it, it's all acts of courage that you move through. And at the other end, when you get through it, there's self-esteem, there's self-confidence, there's more uh, 
more self-respect for yourself. You have a story that you could tell others, right? So it's it's all the act. There's no uh, there's no one's ever done it without having to take a courageous act because courageous people are heroes. Like no, like all the things I'm talking about that seem scary or someone wouldn't do. Yeah, yeah, yeah um, not everybody. That's why no one does it, right? The majority don't. So to to make that, but understand, you're not going to die. That's the thing. I think. Uh, Sometimes people get so so caught up in the fear of things, they literally see it as physical harm, but you're not gonna die at all. You're gonna be great, you're gonna be totally safe. And what you will have is when you have the right people around you, which you could find anywhere now, um, depending if you wanna take the time to learn it, have people in your life that say, listen, we'll team up, we'll do this as a group, or you actually hire the professionals to do it. They'll destroy the fears and fogs for you, and you'll be able to move and save time and money, a lot of money in the long run, by being aware of your weaknesses, being self, uh, having self-awareness, and that's where the whole humility comes from because then you, you're coachable. Like the team that we're building right now, they tell me to do something, I do it. You know, I, I'm the visionary, but they tell me to do it and they're a great group of people. They see the vision and then we move forward and that's how we can make a massive impact. So in your life, you know, when you, when you ask yourself, what are the fears and the fogs that are holding me back? And when you're able to write them down and look at them and say, that's, and get excited, be like, that's the only things keeping me from my dream, my destiny, my, you know, outrageous joy, courage, contribution, amazing achievement, pulling the sword out of the stone, like King Arthur, like all those things, the fairy tale ending, most people can never and will never get through the fears and the fogs. But when you're able to see it, like I'm, I'm, I'm giving it to you right now and know that it's, you're not, uh, basically the, the punchline is you're not going to do it on your own. You're going to do it with a group of people because the hero's journey always have helpers. They have helpers along the way, but it's up to you to decide, are you, you're the only one to decide, am I going to go through the fears and the fogs? Once you make that decision that yes, I'm going to go through it and I'm going to get the right people around me. That's when everything happens and it becomes a win-win for everybody. So I hope you enjoyed this 15 minute fuel. It was uh, very beneficial to me and hopefully it'll be beneficial to you. Make sure you go again to our YouTube, check out our Facebook and all those other things there. Please comment below, share this one because right now you know there's someone who they're, they're oscillating, right? They're oscillating, they wanna do it. And what happens is if you don't go through the fears and fogs, there's one thing I will totally guarantee 100% that will happen in your life. You will end your life in regret. That's the way life will end in regret. You'll always wonder, what if, right? Don't live a life of what if or a regret. Do it. Just do it. I mean, if you're if you're locked into things, and you know, and you just this is your life. Jim Rohn said his best. We're the only species on the planet that could tear up the script and start brand new. Did you know that? A bird can't do it. Ducks where they always fly south for the winter. They can't change their script. They don't have the they don't have the free will to do that. But as human beings, we have the free will at any day, at any moment, you could take your script of your tear it up and start fresh. That's that's the gift of that's the blessing and the gift of free will. People see it as a curse, but you gotta start seeing things as a blessing. Have an amazing day, and we'll see you tomorrow. God bless.